At just 31 years of age, Jim Kitchen faced a medical challenge that would change his life. But thanks to the doctors at Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center in Baton Rouge, that challenge led to a positive outcome. It all started when Jim felt his heart beating way too fast. I noticed that I was, I was feeling sluggish. I just wasn't feeling right. And uh, my heart was just racing, uh, just out of control. I knew it was out of rhythm. In fact, Jim's heart was beating 200 times per minute instead of the normal pace of 60 to 90 beats a minute. He was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, a high-risk heart condition that usually affects patients ages 50 and older. Doctors first tried oral medication to keep Jim's heart in normal rhythm, but it didn't work. Jim's atrial fibrillation was aggressive. He had 13 episodes where he had to go to the emergency room to have his heart shocked to restore normal rhythm. Jim found the answer he was looking for when he learned that he could have a procedure called AFib ablation to correct the problem. Thanks to technological advances, doctors at Our Lady of the Lake can now perform AFib ablations in a variety of ways, offering greater precision and better results for patients. During a traditional AFib ablation, an electrophysiologist feeds tiny instruments into the patient's heart through a catheter inserted into the groin. They first identify cells in the heart that cause the heart to beat erratically and too quickly. Then they cauterize those cells to lower the patient's rapid heartbeat. Another possible option for some AFib patients involves this tool called the Sensei X Robotic Catheter System by Hansen. The robot provides advanced levels of 3D catheter control with 3D visualization. Electrophysiologist Dr. Andrew Smith says the Hansen robot gives him more stability and precision while operating. With the Hansen, it allows us to translate all that pressure via the robot directly to where we want to go. So it allows better contact with the heart and better lesions, therefore, and then theoretically that translates into better outcomes for the patient. Another option for patients is called the convergent procedure. Electrophysiologist Dr. Kenneth Savello is part of a physician team that uses this two-part surgery to ablate outside and inside the heart. This procedure can be used for patients with aggressive atrial fibrillation. And we feel the reason that is is because when we're ablating either from the inside or the outside, we're not really creating a full thickness area of scar um, or there may be some places that we can get to from the inside that we can't get from the outside and vice versa. For his part of the convergent procedure, Dr. Savello guides catheters through a vein leading from the groin into the left heart chamber to create scar tissue and suppress abnormal electrical signals. Cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. William Bodefeld works outside the heart, making a small incision in the chest and inserting a tiny camera to help him see areas he needs to ablate. Dr. Bodefeld says the convergent option can be a good fit for some patients. People that are symptomatic atrial fibrillation, um, people that have failed catheter ablation before um, are actually very good candidates for this. The one caveat is so um, they can't have previous abdominal operation. Ablation procedures are not for every patient with atrial fibrillation. Patients who undergo ablation procedures may still need to take some medication after surgery. In every case, the goal is to return the patient to normal heart rhythm as quickly as possible. On here, off, 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 it's normal rhythm. And for patients like Jim, a normal heart rhythm meant returning to a normal life. Continued an active lifestyle, had a beautiful little baby girl, um, lost 70 something pounds, so uh, just gone about life like, uh, like I should be. For more information on the AFib ablation procedures discussed here, contact Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center at 225-765-6363 or at www.ollrmc.com heart.